Hi guys, it's Kara, and I have a very small jet pens order that I wanted to share with you guys. I really wanted to do this separately just because there's a couple different items in here that I don't think many of you have seen before, so I thought I would share. The first thing um, that I'm going to show you is really not any huge deal. It's a little pen clip that I picked up, uh, but I wanted to point it out because uh, if you've watched a previous haul video, I showed you, or a previous video I guess I should say, I showed you this cute little pen that I got. This is a um, Kuwaiko Sport in pink, and I totally grabbed the wrong size of pen clip when I originally ordered it, so I picked one up from Jet Pens. These things are super simple. They just slide right in, just like that, and I prefer my little Kuwaikos with that clip. I think they look um, a lot more um, snazzy, and I think they're also a way more functional with a nice pen clip that you can use. Okay, so that was the first thing. The next thing was this very cool little pencil case. Now, I have shown you guys a wide range of pouches and bags and cases and all sorts of things on my channel because, as you know, I'm addicted to pens, paper, pencils, and the cases that go with all of that. But recently what I found is when I carry anything in my purse, I really don't carry a lot. Those bigger bags that I have, those are really, I think, would be more useful when I travel. So in my purse, I carry something really small. And um, this one, because of its size, is about the right size because I like to have a couple different, you know, two or three different ones to change it out. And I loved kind of the color and the way this was set up. So I decided to get it and uh, I thought I would just kind of show you guys this one. They have a ton of colors for this particular pouch. You can see it's shaped like a square. It has this little band at the top, right? And it does unsnap. So if you actually wanted to hook it to something, you could, okay? Like if you have a little thing in your purse or your bag or your backpack or whatever, that would work. The thing that I really liked about this is when you unzip it to use it and you open it up, let's say you wanted it sitting out, it does eventually, once you've, you know, used it a while, sit flat like this, like a nice little tray on your desk, table, whatever. So if you actually traveled with this or, you know, you went to coffee shop or whatever to pull out your journal or your planner, this would be um, very convenient to sit right next to you on the table open with your supplies in here. Now again, not a lot of supplies, but um, this would hold the bare minimum for me and I will do a video later to show you kind of the very basics that I've whittled my things down to. Um, again, I use this size for my purse. I carry a few things with me all the time, like I think most uh, planner notebook nerds do, and I have whittled it down to fit into something about this size, so I will show that to you later on. Now, the other thing I got, this was really just kind of a timing, like the pencil, paper, pen gods were just kind of watching over me for this one. I had been watching a, which that sounded really lame, but you guys know what I mean. It was just fate, let's put it that way. Um, I had been watching or reading, I want to say watching one of uh, Adam's videos, and I don't remember which one, I think it was like what's in his pencil bag. You guys have heard me um, talk about Adam before and reference him before. He, I think, is now Adam's Philo. God, I hope I'm getting that right, I'm sorry kind of early when I'm doing this, but anyway, one of the things he showed was a pencil, and when he pulled the pencil out, it had a, like a little cover on it, so that the, the lead wouldn't get damaged, and the um, lead wouldn't also mark up uh, your, your bag or whatever you had it in, and I thought that was really clever, and I went looking, and I couldn't find them anywhere that it was really affordable. And then I happened to look on Jet Pens at their new stuff and they actually had them. So these are the caps that I'm talking about. Okay, I they have them in the silver and there are four in a package and then they have them in kind of pastel colors, which you know I couldn't pass up. So I grabbed a couple packs of each and I just wanted to show them to you because I thought these things were pretty cool. So if you notice, they're just this little very lightweight, hopefully you can hear that, um, probably plastic 
cover. And if you imagine this pencil sharpened, then you would just kind of stick this in here until it, you know, was on there. And you can see it's not going to come off. And it's basically going to protect your lead and protect your bag from the lead. Now, the thing that's kind of cool about this, if you can see, there's a little kind of slit in that that would allow for a bigger pencil so that it would kind of spread a little bit so you could get a bigger pencil in there, which I don't really have a bigger one in front of me, but I think you guys get the idea that this would open up just a little bit so that it would work with more than one size pencil. So I thought this was kind of cool. You know, for those of you that um, like to carry pencils like this with you or like to sketch or like to bring, you know, a few colored pencils, that kind of thing, and don't want to have to put them in a separate case, this is an option. And these things were really affordable. I want to say the silver ones were under $2, I think. And the pastel ones were just slightly more, maybe a little over two. But anyway, I thought they were a lot of fun. And like I said, I did grab a few packages just because I'm always worried that they will sell out of the things that I like. So there they are. Like I said, this was a small order, but um, a whole lot of fun. And some different new things to share with you guys. If you have any questions about these things, let me know, leave them down below. I will put a link to Jet Pens because you know I'm a total Jet Pens fan. They have a wide range of goodies for you to spend your money on. And they have free shipping after $25, which for me in Alaska is awesome. I hope that never goes away and they're really quick with getting you their goodies. Um, I think typically for me in Alaska, a jet pens order takes about four days from the day I order it. So that's pretty good. Uh, if you guys, like I said, have any other questions, anything I didn't cover, leave them down below. Um, as always, thanks so much for watching and I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you're at. Bye everybody.